Good afternoon. I'm uh, on more of a scouting trip than anything else today. Uh, might get a shot if I get the chance. But I'm down at Dawlish Warren, which is a popular tourist destination on the South Devon coast. Obviously it's winter, so it's going to be a bit quieter today. But there's still a few people about. Anyway, I'm scouting for uh, some old groins. You can see that there's uh, plenty of new groins, which I'm not really interested in shooting. But I believe there are some old groins further up the beach. So I'm just going to take a walk up and try and find those. I've been to this beach many, many times when I was a youngster, but not really been along this far for many years. Certainly not since I've been interested in photography. So I'm just going to take a stroll further up the beach and see what's up there. I'll catch up with you again soon. So, uh, extra five or so minutes to walk up the beach and I've uh, come across the old groins so behind me there um, I've checked the tide times last night and high tide is due to be about, about 20 past one and it's about 10 to one now so what I'm going to do is uh, set up the camera ready in a bit and see what I can get at high tide uh, with long exposure on these old groins and so like I said I'm at Dawlish Warren a popular tourist location uh, conditions aren't great but there's some nice clouds about so I might be able to get some dramatic long exposure shots and there's also um, in behind me there, you can probably see is Exmouth in South Devon and probably behind me now is Rodney Point which I, I quite like shooting at as well and I'll try and do a vlog from over there at some point in the future what I'm going to try and do is give you an idea of locations to shoot at in Devon sometimes Cornwall I live quite close to the South Devon coast pretty close to Dartmoor as well and I'll try and vlog from various locations and give you guys in Devon or if you're traveling to Devon some ideas of locations that you can shoot at anyway I'm gonna uh, try and set up and see what compositions I can get and I'll be back with you soon All right, well, I'm waiting for the tide to come in completely uh, which should be in about five minutes now and I can uh, get down a bit closer and get some long exposures without getting my feet soaked uh, so I've just been trying to get a couple of compositions here just while I'm waiting might not be anything good but something to do um, just changed camera systems recently uh, used to be Nikon uh, crop sensor though D7100 I've just changed over to the Fuji system and currently uh, Fuji X-T2 and the only lens I've got at the moment is the 10 to 24 uh, really loving it um, a lot lighter now not me but my camera setup is a lot lighter uh, I'm not a lot lighter after Christmas, a uh, bit of dieting, a bit of walking and running needed. Anyway, so I've got a polarizer on. Um, I've been shooting around the F9 to F11 area. 
and seeing what that gets me. Clouds are quite nice actually. Um, I'm the sort of photographer that takes a fair few shots when I'm out, seeing as it's digital, I can I can take lots and I can get back on the computer and see what they're like and pick out my best from there. I'm not the sort of photographer that just goes out, uh, grabs one shot and that's it. I take quite a few different shots when I'm out, different settings, different exposures, different compositions and then when I'm back I can put them up on the big screen and see what my favourites are when you're on the computer. I find that you actually sort of spot things when you're on the big screen uh, that you didn't actually spot when you're out shooting. So why not get as many as I can and go from there. Anyway, tide should be in completely in a couple of minutes, so I haven't been at this location before at high tide. So I mean at the moment, uh, high tide this time of the year, it's not come in very far. So I might uh, come back at a different time of year to see how far it comes in. I'd love it to actually be in right up to these groins here. But it doesn't look like it's going to come in much further than the others down there. So anyway, I'll go down there, set myself up with a composition, see what we can get long exposure wise. So I'll um, see you in a minute. So anyway, got my tennis stop on now and we'll give that a go again F11 ISO 200 on the X-T2 uh, what's good with the Fuji is that uh, when I'm in bold mode I've got the time on the back of the screen which I didn't have at all with the Nikon I had to use my phone to get timings Again, as I said, um, taking a fair while to process the shot. Not sure whether it takes the same amount of time to process it as the exposure was. I mean, that was 15 seconds. I'll have to uh, do some tests with that. That's looking looking better now. But I think I'm actually going to try a 20 second as well. And See what that's like. Uh, I'm just counting in my head there to see the uh, process and time for exposure, and I think it is pretty much the same, the same time to process it on the Fuji. So I shoot for 20 seconds, and it takes about 20 seconds to process it. Obviously that's not great if you're doing a three, five minute exposure or something. It takes a lot of time to process it. Anyway, I've actually got to go. This was just a quick scouting shoot session today. And I've ended up staying a bit longer to get some shots, as we always do. So I've got to start packing up and get home. So I've just moved over to the Fuji mirrorless system so trying to learn that probably a few fails there as I usually do don't know whether you guys uh, normally do as well or whether everything goes smoothly but for me I know there's quite a few fails as well as successes my videos are going to be I'm thinking at the moment uh, a lot about location, where I am, you know, what sort of things there are there. 
and so that people can get an idea of the locations in uh, Devon and Cornwall mostly but uh, anytime I go further afield I'll video there as well probably won't talk about camera settings and that too much definitely not until I learn my new system anyway uh, first attempt hopefully they'll improve but if you like it if you want to follow along with my travels I'll maybe uh, post some of the videos I took previously um, but the usual please subscribe pop over and check me out on Twitter Facebook have a look at my website thanks for watching if you've got this far and uh, I'll catch you next time